Hello and welcome to Weekly News Highlights with me, Hasina Mumtaz. Thank you for joining me. Here are your top stories for this week. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has shrugged off opposition chief Khalid Azir's warnings of a movement to topple the government, saying that she isn't afraid of agitation. The two leaders threw insults at each other in a seesaw of comments, which started when the Prime Minister said on the 18th of August that she would not budge from the constitution, not even by a hair's breadth. She was referring to the opposition's demand for elections to be held under a non-partisan government to oversee the upcoming parliamentary election. Khalid Azir fought back to say on August the 20th that the winds of our campaign will leave you without direction. You will disappear and be left to fight for your very existence. The United Nations announced on Friday that a team of UN experts have finished gathering evidence of a suspected chemical weapons attack. The attack killed hundreds of people in suburbs near Damascus last week. However, the UN says that analysing the samples may take weeks. The announcement that the UN inspectors will not be releasing their findings immediately came as Washington suggested the UN investigation would have no bearing on its decision about whether to attack Syria or not. Russian diplomats were hoping to use the time needed to complete the UN probe to slow down the push for airstrikes. Washington has left the timing of any action unclear and has also not provided clarity on what action may be taken. Here in the UK, MPs have rejected possible UK military action against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's government to deter the use of chemical weapons. Senior Awami League leader Engineer Musharraf Hussein has suggested that Mohammed Yunus join the BNP after Yunus's backing of the opposition demand for a caretaker administration to oversee the general election. The Chittagong One MP offered this advice to the Nobel laureate, who also hails from Chittagong. Musharraf also made a dig at BNP chairperson Khalid Azir for demanding a caretaker government. The deposed Grameen Bank Managing Director Muhammad Yunus recently voiced his support for the opposition's demand for a polls time non-party government. On August the 22nd, he claimed no general election in Bangladesh, unless overseen by a non-party government, can be fair and credible. The EDL have planned another march through Tower Hamlets on Saturday the 7th of September. In preparation for this, a cross-party group of politicians from the council, as well as residents, have joined together and will gather in a show of solidarity against the EDL at Altavali Park on that day. Over 50,000 people are expected to turn up to challenge the EDL. On Monday the 26th of August, NTV employees took part in a friendly cricket match against the students of Sunderland University at West Ham Rugby Field. The NTV team was captained by NTV's director, Mr Mustafa Sharwa. Team members included NTV producer Mr Abdul Awan Mamun and marketing development member Mr Joydeep Roy as well as the rest of the NTV staff. The match was opened by NTV CEO Sabrina Hussain and NTV advisors Nazneen Hussain and Kamrul Hussain. In her speech, Sabrina Hussain encouraged people to take up sport and also highlighted the health benefits of this. Our NTV team যারা আমরা খুব পরিশ্রম করি সারা দিন কাজ করি একটু আনন্দের জন্য একটু বোঝার জন্য যে খেলাধুলা করি অবিয়াসলি খেলাধুলা শুধুমাত্র আনন্দদায়ক না শরীরের জন্য ভালো সো इट्स अ डे आउट एज वेल সো ব্যাংক হলিডেতে আমরা এনটিভি প্রথমবারের মতো ক্রিকেট খেলাটি আয়োজন করেছি এবং ভবিষ্যতেও করব দোজ আর ইওর টপ স্টোরিজ ফর দিস উইক थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग एंड डू जॉइन मी अगेन एट द सेम टाइम नेक्स्ट वीक अल्लाह हाफिज़